Yes, you got social with us. That's right. Tweet us at Bronxnet TV and tweet me too at Rina Valentin while you're there. We want to hear from you. So our next guest has created her career by using her talents as a dancer, choreographer, actress, producer, and so much more. And that's to help inspire and teach other others in her community and she's recently began a weekly podcast called notes from a native daughter which explores life and culture with artists of and from the pan-american experience so joining us now to share more we welcome sol danela rivera thank you rena thank you for having me Thank I'm really happy. Oh, I'm really happy. And you look gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you for being here with us. Uh, you are quite the busy lady. I am. I mean, <laughs> I, if I were just to go over your resume or your biography, it, it's just, you don't even look old enough to accomplish everything that you've accomplished. But Thank I'm you. very curious to know how you got to where we are now. A lot of hard work. A lot of hard work. Um, if we're talking about North Shore Native Daughter, it's a whole different well, uh, story. Okay, so here's the thing though, okay, because with you I was kind of going, okay, I know you um, from the publicity circuit, I know you from production, I know you from communications. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so it's, now you've got this uh, notes from uh, a native daughter, right? Mm -hmm. And it, it kind of embodies everything that you do and, and it's in the form of a podcast. So I'm just curious to know how you went like that. You know, like you kind of mixed it all. Well, it's an interesting story. I, when I came to the States to study, um, I ended up having to study but also having to work. So I held parallel careers to earn money. So while I was a dancer, I was also a production coordinator. While I was a production coordinator, I was also a producer. While I was uh, doing that, I became a publicist. So in some uh, incredible, beautiful, blessed way, I ended up having concurrent and parallel careers. At some point, they were overlapping. I slowly uh, let dancing go, not out of frustration, but it was just time to move on. So it just became that I was doing producing concerts, producing theater, doing PR for movies, doing PR for concerts, doing PR for, you know, all kinds of artistic and cultural events. And and now when I look back 27 years later, it's like, yeah, this this is all of it has happened and it's kind of I I don't know how I don't know how I do it. No, no I, I don't. <laughs> I mean, and, and on top of that, we did mention you you manage uh, Danny Rivera, mm -hmm, you're among other things. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're his manager. She's the famous Danny Rivera's manager. Yeah, well, you're his I mean, I'm his daughter. Right. So so. It, <laughs> it, I mean, it comes with, um, it, you know, it's it's a blessing, and I think through that was also how culture just is just a part of my life. I cannot not be without it. That's the beauty of yeah. it, right? Because yeah. I did mention how you worked for like really big productions with Jennifer Lopez, Mark Anthony, and and you could have very easily gone the commercial route, and instead you chose to remain cultural. Yeah, I mean, I think I like to incorporate both sides. I I I, I still dance on both sides, and somehow I like to keep myself there. I like to not forget. I like to, my effort or my humble effort with the podcast was sort of uh, a reaction of frustration with the mainstream field with um, the lack of space. We think there's so many spaces, there's so many websites, there's so many, but then ironically there aren't enough spaces for emerging artists or even established artists and that was something that I was really concerned about um, and that's a profound discussion for another time, but that was one of the seeds that I was like, I want to talk to the people that don't get to be on, on a show all the time. And, and I find it very fascinating, uh, just your choice of guests. Um, I've been listening, and, and you're right, and, and also just the stories that they're sharing, because mm -hmm. it's, it's almost like a truth serum. Yeah, yeah. So I, I wanted that one-on-one -on -one that one-on-one -on -one time with people. I love people. First of all, I just I think it's amazing that you know we are we are beautiful, and that one-on-one -on -one contact is really important to me to give to them, and people have just opened up. Uh, might I add that I'm also really involved with Ostas Community College. I mean, they're like my family, um, and I just recently completed or about to complete an oral history project for their 50th anniversary. 
and I've done like 150 interviews, spoken with amazing, you know, faculty, dignitaries, former presidents, students, and um, you know, the Bronx is so beautiful, and people are so beautiful, and what people have to have to do to make a good life for themselves, you know, I think deserves so much credit. E every one of us equally. I, I agree, I agree. I think we're all important and I think all of our voices need to be heard, especially when we're a contributing force, right? And um, somehow, some sometimes people get lost in the shuffle and that doesn't make them less important just because they're not necessarily in, in the front, yeah. per se. Exactly. And so I really appreciate that you're, you're kind of a documentary. Uh, like you're one of our archivists. Well, thank you. That's uh, I never thought about it like you, that. I, you are. Maybe, yeah. maybe. Yeah, and, and we're so glad to have you here on Open sharing this with our viewers. So tell everybody where they can listen to your podcast. They can listen to my podcast on Audio Boom channel, Notes from a Native Daughter. I've been working on a new platform that will be uh, unfolded, I think, by October. It's, you know, now it's a massive amount of content because as of this week, I'm on week 64. So uninterrupted Sunday. So it's a lot to bring into the new platform where I'm excited about it. And that'll be notes for a native daughter. But for now, audio boom and also on iTunes in the in the podcast section. And uh, yeah. And I so love it. dot com. Yes. No, I love it. I love it because <laughs> we need our stories heard. Absolutely. This to is the, the world, time. This is the, world, the time. This the is world. this is the time. All right. Now before we go, I'll just share the event uh, hostos. The Yes, uh, Ostos fifty. Yeah. The Ostos fifty dot com. It's the website dedicated to the 50th anniversary of Osos Community College, which is so important for the Bronx and uh, communities of color. That's it. We You're celebrate. Yes, absolutely. We celebrate each thank other. Thank you. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> thank you, Sol Danela. Ah. Yes, once again, you guys, for more information on Sol Danela, you can check out her website by going to soldanela.com.